Well, we had a great night's sleep last night. It was nice and cool. It got down to 55 degrees inside Winnie. And uh, I was a little bit chilly, but uh, Angela was in heaven. She actually slept more than 10 hours. So did Kaylee, <laughs> but that's just between us. And we woke up this morning. It was supposed to be really overcast and actually raining down in Valdez where we're heading to later today. Uh, but they've changed the forecast. It's mostly uh, sunny out here today. Look at this sheep mountain right back over here. These mountains around us are just beautiful. Alaska, man, we love it. We really, really do. We're kind of sad, a little disappointed that we've already made the turn now and we're starting to head back. But uh, we've had a, a wonderful time and uh, we know that we're still gonna have some adventures uh, on the road back. One of the most iconic wildflowers in Alaska is fireweed, which got its name since it's one of the first plants to grow after a wildfire. The blossoms open from the bottom of the spike and bloom upward as the summer progresses. When the blooms have reached the top of the spike, it signals the end of summer. Wow, wow, wow. Mind blown at the Solomon Gulch Fish Hatchery back in Valdez. One of the coolest things we have seen on this entire trip. Absolutely <laughs> breathtaking, amazing. What do you think? No words. Mind boggling. It's not quite mommy's birthday, day after. <laughs> it's okay. But I'd say this is a pretty sweet birthday pretty present. Pretty sweet. We'll never celebrate like this again. <laughs> <laughs> The hatchery was established in 1981 to help sustain healthy salmon populations for commercial and sport fishing. Over 250 million pink salmon fry are released every year. After about two years of growing to adult size in the ocean, the salmon return to this hatchery to spawn. To force the salmon into the hatchery, a weir was constructed at the mouth of Solomon Creek. Since most of the fish can't cross the weir, they go up the ladder, a series of submerged steps that lead up to holding tanks. The eggs from the females are harvested, fertilized with milt from the males, and incubated until the following spring, when the process begins again. Most of the salmon released are harvested by commercial fishermen and marine predators, and fewer than 10% survive to return to spawn. In recent years, this still means that over 20 million salmon return to the hatchery, creating this chaotic frenzy. All those fish they're cutting up, what are they going to do with the meat? To make it into cat food. <laughs> cat food? Yes. Stellar sea lions have their fill here at the hatchery, also known as the all-you-can-eat salmon buffet.
Their deep roars are unexpectedly loud and dominating. They spend hours gorging themselves on the fatty fish heads, and the gulls are more than happy to hang out and wait for the leftovers. When the tide goes out, they relax on a small island in the bay, nursing their full bellies like they've just had one massive Thanksgiving dinner. But eventually, the tide returns and they resume their feasting, as if their last meal never even happened. I am speechless. I. This is crazy. Right it's worth here. coming back to Valdez just There's for a fish right in there. <laughs> I'm just I'm just really glad that we don't have smell of vision because it doesn't smell the best. <laughs> When the tide is completely out, a small peninsula is exposed, revealing the carcasses of salmon that didn't quite finish their journey. We're not sure why, but the gulls seem to enjoy riding the current of Solomon Creek over and over again. The tides just blow us away. I know if you live close to oceans, you think, you know, tides are just, eh, whatever. But last night, the water's edge was right where I'm standing, right here. And now, look how far out it is. And sea lions were all out here, and now it's just rock. And the fish are all congregated in just this one little section. A local family was kind enough to let Kaylee reel in her very first fish. Snagging is a unique method of fishing, which in Alaska is only allowed in saltwater. A large hook is drawn across the fish's body, piercing it without the need for it to swallow the hook. Your first fish! Oh fish eggs! This is my pinky for reference. That's my <laughs> pinky nail. That is cool. Keep the tip up. You're good. You're doing great. 
Wow, you got to keep pulling it in. Whoa, that's a nice one. That was a hard one to catch. No kidding, good job. <laughs> um, the tide is coming in rather just quickly, in time. just in time. Join us down the road as we sadly leave Alaska and begin the long road home. And until next time, enjoy your journey.